All right, welcome back. Now, in this particular session, we're going to consider the um, popularity-based recommendation system, right? You're going to have a hands-on of how these popularity-based recommendation systems are built. All right, so in the previous video, we got an idea of what popularity-based recommendation systems are. And uh, in this particular tutorial, we're going to have a hands-on on that, okay? So um, let's get started over here. Uh, I'm going to use two different data sets over here, right? So. Um, one is called movies.csv and the other one is called ratings.csv, which I have loaded at a resource session for you. Okay, so you can download them and then uh, you can work alongside. I'm using Google Colab over here if you want to work alongside it, but you can also use um, Jupyter Notebook or um, Jupyter Lab to work alongside. All right, okay, so um, let me load these, I mean, this I said for you to see what is inside here that we're going to use. Okay, so I'm going to use um, these libraries, which is I'm not gonna need this one. I'm just gonna import NumPy and Pandas over here. All right, so let me run that. Great. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is to read my data set. Okay, so um, I'm using pd.read underscore and I'm reading the movies.csv. Okay, then I'm storing these movies names. Then I'm going to print it out for you to see. All right. Great. So this is what we have in the movies.csv so this is uh, a movies data that um we are going to use for this particular exercise okay all right so we have the movie id then we have the title and then the generous over here okay so the movie id is just nothing but um like the way pandas has given us an id okay so each of the movies are having the id which in this case we are not going to use for any of our analysis over here right and then um we have the title and then the general let me also load the um the the ratings also for you to see okay so here i'm doing pd dot read underscore csv and i have put in my ratings dot csv over here right and i'm storing it in ratings underscore csv so let me read that for you to see okay great so in the ratings we have the user id the movie id rating and then timestamp okay that is the time that they were giving the ratings right and the movie id and user id which we are not going to um, use in this case so what is important here is the ratings okay so now we want to put together the ratings and also the um the data that we have on the movies right so the title and then the ratings are what we want to combine together so let's see how we're going to do that so we're going to use the merge function over here right pandas merge function and i'm putting in the ratings data and the movies data right and since all of them are having a uh, movies id right movie id is here movie id is also here so i can match both of the data sets on that movie id which they all have in common okay so that's what i'm doing over here all right so now if i print the head of it for you to see right so this is what we have okay this is what we have so now you can see that um for the ratings right because i, I brought the ratings first the ratings data is going to come first move is id movie id rating and timestamp so you can see here user id movie id rating and timestamp then after that the movie names are gonna come um that is this movie right which starts with the movie id title and generous right but since we we match them on movie id only one movie id is gonna come so this one is gonna start with title and generous over there okay now once that is done we need to define a criteria that we're going to use to, for this popularity based recommendation system okay now and the criteria that we're going to use is that we're going to have find the movies that are having the highest ratings right and also the movies that are having the highest number of views and then based on that we can make the recommendation for instance if you go to netflix right so based on that um th this top 10 uh, movies that you see over here is based on the highest ratings and i mean the number of views Okay, it's what they are basing on to give you this kind of recommendations so that's what i'm going to base on to do this one okay so what i'm going to do is that uh, for each of the movies that we have okay for each of the movies that we have uh one person might rate it two one person might rate it three one person might rate it five and so on and so forth so on average what is the rating of that particular movie if i pick a mo one movie on average what is the rating that um that movie is having so that's what i want to um calculate over here right so in my movie data which is what i've just formed over here which is a merge of the ratings and the movies right 
when I go inside there, I'm going to do group by, and I'm grouping it by the title, okay? And then I'm going to find the mean of the of the ratings, okay? Specifically for the ratings, right? Then I'm printing the first five for you to see. So let me run that. Okay, so for each of the movies, you can see that they have uh, ratings over there. Okay, for each of the movies, you can see that we have uh, ratings for them. So great performances, um, cuts 1998. You see, this is the rating for it, right? And then um, Hellboy, right? The Seas of Creation. This is the rating over there. The, the Arizona Skies, blah, blah, blah. This is the ratings over there. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is that um, I'm going to sort them, all right? I'm going to sort them according to those movies that are having the highest ratings. Okay. That's what I'm going to do over here. So I'm um, just copying the same code, right? Movies.group by the title. Okay. Movies.group by the title ratings.mean. Then after that, I'm adding sort of values, right? And I'm setting ascending equals force so that it will send it from the highest to the smallest instead of smallest to the highest. Okay, so let me run that for you to see. Okay, now you can see over here, right, that the movies that are having five star ratings are the ones that are coming first. Okay, that is the first 10, right? If I put, uh, that is the first five, okay? If I put 10 over here, I'm going to have the first 10. Right now, you can see these are the movies. If I do maybe first 30 over here, okay, you see that in ascending order, right? These are the movies that are having the f these are the first um, 30 movies with the highest um, ratings, right? Ratings 5. Well, let me see, let me go to 50 and see if I'll have the ratings with 4 also. Okay, which means the those with five ratings are very are a lot over there right they are a lot over there but one thing that i want to also know is the count right maybe one is one person who watched um this movie and rated five okay and maybe this one is about maybe 20 people who watched it and, and rated at five so in that case i'll give more importance to the 20 people who have watched this uh, the same movie and rated it higher than just one person rated watching it and giving it a five star okay if i want to make the recommendation i want to base on the popular i uh, mean ratings okay so if five uh, or 20 people have watched a movie and rated it five i consider that movie as popular than just one than a movie that one person has watched and rated it five okay so i want to ch also check the count as well so let me go down here and then here i'm going to check the count so just the same thing but in this case um, instead of mean right instead of mean i'm using count right earlier on i was using mean right if you see over here right i'm using mean over here right but now i'm going to use count over there right i'm using count over there so let me run that one great so you can see that now i have the count right the count over there as well right, so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to add both of them together the ratings and the count okay and which add both of them together on a, on the same table right so um if we go into our data right i'm only going to select the rating and then the title that's the only thing that we're going to base on right the movie the movie title and their ratings right and those then i'll add the title count as well right so that's what i'm going to do so if i do this one right i'm gonna get the movies right the title of the movies and their ratings okay so now let me um do this thing again right by i'm going to now store right if i if i do the calculations over here right um like i was doing i was calculating the mean right this one and i did not store it in anything so i'm going to store it in uh, a variable called ratings mean count okay that's what i'm going to do so let me do that one and let you see and i'm also converting it into a data frame over there right unlike uh here where i just uh, this one was not in a data frame okay but i'm converting it in the form of a table right in a tabular form that's why here i'm using pd dot data frame over there all right so now um once i do that i'm grouping it by the title right so that's why instead of having uh, an index like this right i don't want the index like this i want the title to rather be the index so that i'll have the title and their rating and their rating count okay so now i have the title and their rating so i'm going to do um this one over here so that i also have the rating count okay inside this um ratings i mean count i'm going to add the rating count as well okay and this how i'm counting it so instead of mean i'm using count okay so that i'll get the rating count and then add it to that table all right so let me run that one for you to see great so if i print the head of that right if i print the head of that again right 
now you see that I have the title, the ratings, and then the ratings come. So for for great performances, Carter 1998, two people rated it, right? And out of the two, on average, they rate it as 1.75, okay? Uh, if you see this one here, um, just three people rated it, and on average, um, they rated it 3.8 something, right? If you see around midnight, right, two people rated it, and on average, they rated it at 2.8. Two five right on zenith the arizona skies right one person rated it 0.5 right now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to find a way to cut off this uh many decimals that is behind if it is 1.7 let it be 1.7 ratings if it's 2.0 let it be 2.0 ratings if it is um 0 0.5 let it be that okay if it's um 2.2 let it be like that so that's what i'm going to do okay so i'm just going to add I'm just going to add rounding to the rating column. So in my ratings underscore mean count, which is this, what I have over here, right? This table, right? I'm just going to select the rating and I'm adding the round function over there, right? And I'm rounding it to one decimal place. So after the decimal point, uh, I'm supposed to just see one, just one, I mean, dig it over there. Okay. And that is going to be our new rating over there. So let's run this one and see. Great, so now let me show you what we have right inside here. Okay, great. So now you can see that instead of uh, 1.75, we see that we have 1.8 approximately, right? Because this this is five. So five, since it is five, it's gonna add one to this one to make it 1.8. It is less, if it is less than five, then it will ignore it. Okay, for instance, we have 3.83. 3. This three is not up to five, so it's gonna be, just 30.8 if we go here you see that we have 30.8 like that and so on and so forth so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to now bring our, our criteria that we set earlier on okay so our criteria if we go all the way up here we said that we want movies with the highest rating and also number of views okay so that's what i'm going to do over there right because now the count is here but you can see that some of them are two right some of them are three and so on and so forth and then the ratings um th these ones are not sorted so i'm just gonna sort them over here so what i'm going to do is that if i go into my uh ratings right if i go into my ratings underscore mean i'm going to select the ratings okay and then i'm going to select only the ratings that are higher than um three okay so if the ratings are less than three it's not a popular one okay you can maybe increase this criteria to maybe four right so that um you have only those movies that are having ratings four and above okay and not only that i want also the count of the ratings that is those who have rated it to be uh more than 100 okay so if more than 100 people have rated a particular movie um more than three stars then i i know that that particular movie is popular okay so that's what i'm doing over here let me run that for you to see okay great so you can see that these are the movies that are having uh, ratings greater than um three right and then you can see that the number of ratings are also more than 100 over there okay they are more than 100 over here right so that's basically what i want that's the criteria that i have set all right now what i'm going to do is that um you can see that over here they are not actually sorted so i'm just gonna sort it by the rating okay so that i'll have those um that are having the highest ratings to come first okay so let me do that okay great so you can see that now i have uh, 4.5 ratings 4.5 ratings 4.5 ratings the five ratings are not coming here because the the account the number of people who have rated um, movies five star are not up to 200 okay so unless maybe you want to reduce your criteria over here right you want to reduce this criteria over here so that you have that one right but you can see over here um for those that are having their ratings greater than um three and also their count is more than 100 these are the ones the movies that we have okay um so if netflix is to uh, do the recommendation right you will see godfather there you will see um shawshank redemption over there right you see uh usual suspect over there these kind of movies are being going to categorize as the top 10 okay so this top 10 that you go to netflix and you see this is how they do it okay this is how they do it based on the popularity of the ratings and also the uh, ratings count okay so i hope now you have an idea of how popularity based recommendations are being built okay so this is basically the idea behind popularity based uh, recommendation system all right 
Now, in the next tutorial, we're also going to consider another um, kind of recommendation system and also come to the lab and see how that is also built. Okay. All right. So don't forget to give a good rating and a good review to the course, right? And uh, that's a good motivation for me as well. Okay. As I keep providing you with good content, you can in return give a good rating and a good review to the course. Okay. And also leave your, your comments at the um, Q&A session, right? I'll be there to answer all your questions over there. All right. So see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.